actually, this is what it was on Amazon here. Uh, the Yaku Air Supply Safety. That's how it's listed as. I think I paid about 90 bucks. And this is, so it has two of these. This has a clear film on it, so it actually gets a lot clearer. The helmet itself, pretty solid quality. It has, uh, I think that's half inch airline. It runs a three quarter fittings. Those come with the setup. And it has a decent quality material that drops down over your shoulders and blocks the air off around you. So if you do have a lot of sand or dust kicking up, this actually closes off around your neck. And that's where the air supply comes in handy. So this is how I got it, 90 bucks, decent quality, but still, uh, you have to filter your air. So my air does come from my air filter, my air compressor, and what I did was bought 50 foot of 3 8 airline, and this is it. This is a barbed 3 quarter fitting, it's just PVC, Tractor Supply sells these. I think it's like two bucks. So the airline was about, I don't know, 15 to 20 dollars. I, I don't know for sure. It's a three ace airline. If you get quarter, then you get quarter barb with three quarter fitting. That's gonna hook right up to this fitting right here. And from there, the airline is kind of long. It really doesn't need to be that long, but I thought if I have the helmet on and I gotta go up front for some reason, I don't know. So, this has been in the family for a while. It's a Bowler Type 41A, and it has uh, basically a giant filter on the inside. It has multiple levels in it, and it just filters the air. It does not protect you from carbon monoxide. It protects you from other uh, molecules from oil and that kind of stuff. So, if you're worried about carbon monoxide, then I suggest getting some type of carbon monoxide tester, which they sell. They sell all kinds of stuff. They sell these, they're about 250 bucks, and they also sell carbon monoxide checkers. And if you're familiar with all that stuff, then you know those aren't cheap. Um, all right, so my air comes, well, it starts here. My air is gonna come in on this fitting to my sandblaster. And this is just another Harbor Freight regulator and I put about 5 psi or less to this filter and this is the same airline the 50 foot that I cut down and I only used uh, 10 foot when I could have used probably two but anyway it has a, a barbed fitting on this side 3 8 into a quarter inch thread that runs into the filter. Then it comes back out the top, running from that same airline to my helmet. So, like I said, excessive uh, airline feet, I guess. Uh, too much linear feet, but it's not hurting me anything. And I could keep my helmet on and walk back out here to the front. And if you guys have any questions, um, Drop them in the comment section. If this video helped you pick up a new helmet or whatever, uh, drop a like. Feel, feel free to drop a like. And for more info, content, things of this nature, uh, subscribe. And yeah, if you guys uh, enjoy this content, drop the like. I appreciate it. Thank you.